swishing sweat. I'm swishing, I'm swiping, but you won't hear me grabbing cause I'm blessing my house today. I really dig it, I get it, it only takes a minute to keep my house looking this way. And you Saturday. What have y'all got to do today? Are you ready? Are you ready to have some family fun? Uh, uh, the clouds are gathering again. We've got another tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico. I haven't really done a lot of details on it, but Justin says it's brewing. It's just like one storm after another, just like in politics. It's one storm after another. It's just nothing ever stops, ever stops. So we just have to be ready all the time. Be ready for whatever comes our way. It's called it being light on our feet. You got it? Being light on our feet. And when you're prepared, you're light on your feet. It's really a good thing to be prepared. Prepared for anything. I'm prepared for floods. I'm prepared to evacuate if need be. I'm prepared to stay home if we need to hunker down. I'm prepared to do whatever I need to do and come online and talk to you. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna do our share again. Are you ready? Because you helped us share with a lot of people. Yes, we've got a lot of new people in here. And let's let's do our share. I'm gonna count it down. Find the share button. Five. Four, three, two, one, share. Thank you so much. Because just watch it, the people that get in here. A drive-in birthday party today. That's good. Everybody stay safe. Do what you need to do to keep safe. Let's, let's, if you got to be out, wear your mask. I don't get out much. I really don't. Prepared even on vacation. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be prepared on vacation. I was talking to Esther yesterday about how to organize all her paperwork for her upcoming interviews with um, with the um, immigration people. And she's got to go to the embassy in Tanzania. And 
I was telling her about her office in a bag and she doesn't have one of them, but I was telling her about it and I showed her uh, how to organize things in she protectors because she's got to have all the kids passports and birth certificates and it's just a huge ordeal. And she was excited to get organized with all her paperwork. So she just have to open it up like Kaylee McEnany <laughs> at a press conference. She just opens up her binder and there you go. She's got everything all laid out for her. There's nothing like being organized. And you know what it does? It frees you up to not be panicked. You don't have to be panicked. When you have everything organized, when you have your emergency control journal, when you have your holiday control journal, and go get it downloaded, y'all. It's free. Holiday control journal is free. So being organized this holiday season is what we're striving to do. We're going to be organized this holiday season. And we do it with our holiday control journal. It is a powerful tool to make you think about the things that you need to do. I've got a, a broken fingernail. There's my dog. She's outside the door. See, I'm organized. I have a, um, I have nail clippers right here that I can take care of this broken fingernail. Yep. It's driving me nuts. So being organized is going to make you calm. It's going to, being organized, whether it's for an evacuation, for staying at home with a full pantry, this organization is all about your well-being, getting rid of the stress. Because stress drives us nuts, y'all. It just drives us nuts. And that stress puts a heavy burden on our bodies it puts a huge burden on our bodies when you're in okay like when you are in um in money stress you know when you've spent too much money you'll get a bad cold yeah and right now we don't need we don't need to get a bad cold we really don't I like aromatherapy too. I have a a little little vial of lavender oil and peppermint oil right by my chair. And if I need a little energizing, I do it. And I have uh what do I got over here? I have orange oil right here. And that is a, a oh orange oil is just have you have any of you ever been in an orange grove. It's one of my earliest memories of being in an orange grove. The smell. And one time Robert and I were in San Diego and we were driving around and we got to this orange grove and we got out of the car. We got out of the car and we smelled the aroma of the orange blossoms. Now my mother's china had... Um, had orange blossoms on her china. I don't know why it was orange blossom, but it was orange blossoms. And it was absolutely the most amazing. If I could have that smell in an essence that I could put on, it's not like the orange oil. It's a very subtle smell, orange blossom smell. I would love that. Oh, just absolutely light and fruity and simple, simple, simple. So finding, we have a, a plant that grows here. It's called spice, spice bush. And it is, it has a very simple smell to it. I love it. It's a cross between apple pie and, and cantaloupe. It's kind of weird. So it, you know, Taking a whiff of something, and at night, I will put a little lavender oil right here on my wrist. And then 
I rub it on the other wrist and rub it on my pillow. So I'm smelling lavender oil during the night. So it's just little things like that or just pampering things. Just absolutely, they just, a breath of fresh air. It really is. And just simple little oils can, can just change everything. I love, um, love lavender oil. I take a bath with a few drops of lavender oil in my water. So folks, what are you going to do today for fun? What are you going to do for fun? Maybe you build a fire. You need to get rid of some paper clutter and start a fire with some, some papers that need to be destroyed and Get, pick the sticks up out of the yard and put them, put them on the fire pit. And y'all build a fire tonight, this evening. And just have a good time out building a fire. Well, I'm not going to stay on here long. Yeah, there's lots of things going on. Uh, rest in peace, Justice Ginsburg. She passed away last night. It was quite a loss for the whole world. And just, just, just sad when anybody passes. It's just part of living, though. And we have to go on. So keep her family in your prayers. And I remember when she was put on the Supreme Court in 1993. It was a big deal. So keep her family in your prayers and God be with them. I'll talk to y'all later. See you after a while.